Hey guys, what's up? It's Lacey, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a renter friendly DIY. Remove all your outlet covers and wipe down your walls with the grease remover. I'm just using Dawn dish soap. These are the tiles that I'm using. The link will be listed down below. You're also going to need a box cutter and or scissors. So Tic Tac Tiles offers the block style and the brick style. This is the brick style and it's got the overlap here on one side. So we made our straight edge on the opposite side. So I lined that up against my wall, the corner right there, and then I just started sticking them on there, overlapping them as it says to. When I got to my outlet, I just cut around it and then just put it up onto the wall. And then I just followed that line all the way down, just overlapping the tile. And then after I got each tile up on the wall, how I liked it positioned and everything, I just pressed firmly on all four sides. One thing that I want to mention is the caulking. If you have a bunch of like caulking right here, you're going to want to remove it, trim it down, and get as close to the counter as you can without getting on the caulking. Um, obviously, I'm, a rent I'm renting, so I can't really mess with that, but yeah, just take note of that. It's really just about getting it lined up perfectly and then just sticking them on there, just like big stickers. So I feel like this is kind of redundant, but I'm just showing you guys how I did it. And then we have another outlet here, so I'm just kind of outlining it on the back and then cutting out where it would be and then sticking it back onto the wall. Okay, bottom row is done. Now it's time to work on finishing the rest. So this was pretty easy because I just cut how many rows I needed on each tile and just stuck them onto the wall. Above the sink was pretty easy, just continue and skin them up on the wall. I just continued this way all the way around behind my stove and up above the stove as well. I got some new outlet covers, so I stuck those on and I have so many more projects to do in here, you guys. I'm so excited to share them with you. My kitchen looks nothing like this even now. So below on the lookout for those renter friendly DIYs. And thank you guys so much for watching. All the links are listed down below. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.